Good evening, Cyber Friends. This is Mitty, man, coming at you again from Walker's Music for yet another word for the day. Uh, this is the Wednesday evening edition, and uh, we'd like to give God all the glory and the praise for life, health, and strength for it, whether it is. And we also thank God for each and every one of you. I was on my Casio back here, and I was trying to get a good angle on it. Let me see, can I get a better angle? I'm using my laptop, and it got that built-in camera. And it's kind of sometimes gets out of, I, I bump it with my knee or something when I be working back here. But at any rate, what I want to say is, and, and the title of my video say the 4th of July celebration. And um, I just want to say to everybody that we uh, celebrate those of you that are not from the United States. Uh, the 4th of July is a celebration of our nation's uh, birthday, in other words, you know, in 1776, which you know that that spirit of 76, we call it. In other words, we got our liberation from the crown. In other words, we got our our liberation from Great Britain, and uh, we uh, defeated their armies, and we we won our independence. And uh, there's a lot more to it to it than just what I just said. It's a lot more to it. It goes more, uh, more further, I should say. It goes a lot further back than 1776. It goes all the way, actually, you can go all the way back to the founding of the, the country itself, the, the New World, which was uh, founded by Christopher Columbus, which I later found out that he was a Jew and that he had Jewish passengers as well. It was in 1492. And they were seeking for a free world because the Jews had been kicked out of Spain upon the Queen Fernand, I mean Queen King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella, and they we call it the Spanish Inquisition, and they was expelled out of the out of Spain. And uh, so, really and truly, you could say that the American roots go much further back than 1776. But however, we were a colony at that time. The American we had colonies there because we was up under the British crown. And uh, we thank God for America. We thank God for America. And uh, we know that America has drifted a long way from what the original intent was. In other words, we have deviated from the original plan. And I know that you got arguments on both sides. You got arguments that said that our founding problem wasn't so much Christians as they claimed. I don't know. I wasn't back there at that, at that time. I don't know what kind of status they had in the community and all, but the only thing I know is what I've read. And it, it was said that, that a lot of them was, was uh, on found the, the, the principles that they founded this nation upon was on Christian principles, and especially the Ten Commandments. And it was based on the Bible. So, I mean, I'm not going to go against the grain because even now we got a lot of people that uh, claim that they are Christians that are not. And we know that, but so nevertheless, but we, we can say that this nation, and we look at the history of this nation, we were once up there. We, we fought wars, we won our wars, and God was with us. I believe that to a degree. And, uh, but now I'm not so certain that, you know, God has frowned upon some of us and some of the ways that we have done and that we have become to be. Uh, we letting everything, we allowing everything. We are taking God out of the school system. We taking God out of the government. We taking God uh, really just about out the churches. In other words, in, uh, in the false church. In other words, uh, but I'm just saying, people. You know, we're gonna celebrate regardless, uh, whether you think it was right or wrong. I'm here to tell you that there are gonna be people that are gonna celebrate the four. Me myself, I do not, but. I want to say that to those that do, do it with common sense, people. Do it with do it with common sense. Don't don't go and get crazy. It's enough craziness going on in our world as it is. And I just heard here the other day where those three young men over in Israel they found those three men dead. They was they they was murdered murdered in other words. And and uh, Benjamin Netanyahu said that the Hamas would pay. In other words, that was documented. People, we are getting very close to a, to some big happening, and uh, we got a lot of people talking about the blood wounds and all this. It's got something to do with the, the events that are happening, and I do believe that to be so. But nevertheless, even without the blood wounds, I know what Jesus said. So we just saying, people, do what you're gonna do and do it sensible. 
But don't take God out your celebration. That's what Midian Man is saying. In other words, do not take God out the celebration. Keep God in it, and we'll be okay. And so with that being said, being, a, being an old veteran myself, I'm going to say happy birthday to the to the nation. And uh, we we are going to be doing some things, in other words, uh, some solo things that I got to do. In other words, I'm not anti-social as far as when it comes to anti, and I'm definitely not anti-government because of the fact that I, I was in the, I was in the military, and uh, I, I do believe in America, and I do believe that God is not through with America. I believe if we would turn and repent to some of our ways and go back to God, God will come and heal the land. That's what He said in Second Chronicles seven fourteen. So with that being said, we the man just gonna say whatever you get, whatever you get into. And remember, if God is not in it, you get out of it. And, and and better yet, if God is not in it, put him in it. Put God in everything that you do. God want to be a part. Don't really separate God from nothing that you do. If, it's, if there is something that you are doing that you can't put God in, you don't need to be doing it. Point blank. This is Midian Man saying peace. Goodbye.